Hey, what is up guys and welcome for another video for Strangers of Paradise. As everyone knows, Ninja is still one of the best jobs to use as a secondary, especially because one of his tools that allows us to completely nullify 3 attacks from the enemies. These tools come in really handy especially when they are Dragon Trials that will inflict us with status effects upon getting hit. These tools are really good to use but there is no real way to have them be maxed out all the time. The only way that we can replenish our tools is if we interact with the cube. Or we have another way which is his Shadow Master class. With this class we can receive a set number of tools every time we inflict a status effect. When we inflict a status effect we will receive 3 ninja tools. As you can see here I am at 0 tools and then I inflict paralysis and water with my combo ability which altogether gave me 6 tools. Now that's still nowhere near going to be enough. In order for us to max out our tools we need to inflict a total of 7 status effects. There is no way we could do that with any weapon or ability before. Unless of course you use a tool to inflict the status effect which is no point. Only if you inflicted a status effect in one hit then it just means you gained one tool back. This is the only reason why even going for a ninja build using his tools is a problem because there is no way for us to refill them easily during a fight. But now we can. With the new DLC we got a new accessory which has the ability Rainbow Wind. This can only be dropped from the Omega boss. When I was testing it out it didn't look anything special. It was just a tornado that went all over the place. But what it actually does is really something special. Just see what it can do. It can inflict every single status effect possible. 9 status effects all together. With this one move alone you can go from 0 tools all the way back to 20. This ability is amazing as especially if you are in the earlier stages of the game where you may need to use your tools more often. With this ability you now have an easy way to replenish all of your tools. You can always use this ability just before you soul burst the bosses and wait for the tornado to hit and you will gain all of your tools back. The tornado is not very clever. Even if you have the enemy targeted the tornado will just wander around aimlessly. So to ensure that it can hit every time make sure you add some distance between the enemy and yourself and then use the ability. I hope this little trick helped you out. Maybe if you're wanting to make a ninja build you can try this ability since you can use your tools as much as you want now. Would you guys like to see a ninja build? Let me know. I would love to hear from you all. I will catch you all next time.